What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Average Guys Gourmet. I'm Tony Rican and today I'm doing a cool little dinner for you. I'm doing a crispy catfish with parsley mashed potatoes. These things are awesome. So let's go ahead and get started and jump right into this one. To start with, we're going to go ahead and prep all of our ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and start by cubing up my potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and dice up my parsley. I'm going to do the, uh, the stems and the leaves. I'm going to dice up my cabbage. I'm going to go ahead and cut the core off. I'm not going to use this. Now I'm going to go ahead and salt and pepper my catfish. Three quarters cups of whole milk here, and about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to go ahead and lay my catfish in there and let that soak in for about 10 minutes. Now, while my catfish is marinating, I'm coming over to the stovetop to go ahead and cook my potatoes. I've got a pot of water already boiling, it's nice and salted. I'm going to go ahead and drop my chunked potatoes in and let them cook for about 10 or 12 minutes just so they get nice and soft. After 15 minutes, my potatoes became nice and soft and easy to work with. So I went ahead and I drained them. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about a quarter cup of milk. I'm going to take my butter. I'm going to take most of my parsley. I'm keeping a pinch aside for later. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix this together and mash it all up. Now, while my potatoes are boiling, I'm going to go ahead and make my coleslaw. So I've got my chopped salad. I'm going to go ahead and take my mayo. Cajun seasonings and some more apple cider vinegar and just mix this all together. And now it's time to finish prepping our catfish. So I've had it marinating nicely in here. What I did is I took my flour, I added a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to take my catfish, I'm going to go ahead and drag it through this flour. I'm going to drop it back in the marinade real quick and flour it a second time. to start frying up my catfish. I've got some oil in my pan heating up here. I know the oil's ready. If I take a little bit of flour, throw it in the pan and it sizzles like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my catfish, add it in there, and let it go for about four minutes on each side. Once my catfish was done frying up, I went ahead and I put my mashed potatoes on the plate, topped it with a little bit of coleslaw, and then sprinkled some of that extra parsley on top, and just take a look at how this came out. This is a great looking dinner. I know you guys will love with this one. But you know what? As usual, I can't just look at this awesome looking food. I gotta go ahead, tear in, and give everything a try. Mmm. This 
is a great catfish dish I know you guys will love. So go ahead and give it a try, and we'll see you next time.